Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Tuesday, June the 16th. <clears throat> well, another bearish day today. A large red-bodied candle with the close down at the low, which means that the bears closed the market in control and committed. Interestingly, the market took out the Kijun Sen, which is the pink line here, which is the line that represents a higher time frame trend, took it out quite solidly. That in itself is a weak sell signal. It's weak because the signal occurred above the cloud or the Kumo. The strongest signal that we can have for a uh, short signal based on the uh, Kijun Sen would be below the cloud. The next, which is a neutral, would be within the cloud. And the weaker one would be uh, when we have this signal above the cloud. Now because we've taken out the Kijun Sen, there's a strong chance that we'll be trading down to the support area here, which is the support of this um, area of the uh, consolidation, the large consolidation pattern that happened, which was the descending triangle, but also important swing lows within uh, this pattern. Now that also coincides with this level of the Kumo or the cloud. So basically this swing low support or the low of the congestion area is confirming the uh, roughly the area of the cloud as an area of support. So there's a very strong chance that the market will be trading down to uh, roughly about this area and will look to find support around this area. Now we still do have a second time frame uptrend. Even though we have a first time frame uptrend, a downtrend, we have a lower high and a lower low, which means that the trend in the first time frame is, is down. But based on peaks and troughs, we still have a first time frame downtrend. Now we do have a lower trough, but we don't have a lower peak. Now if this market actually um, began a new first time frame uptrend, formed a lower peak and then a lower trough, then we would have a, a second time frame downtrend. But at the moment we can't say that we have a second time frame downtrend. So uh, fairly bearish first time frame trend is down so we need to um, trade with that and we'd be going short looking for support down around this area. Now the Kumo is still has a positive bias, that's the cloud here, it's still uh, positive, it twisted quite some time ago which means that this at the moment is just a pullback in the second time frame uptrend. The Tenkan Sen is uh, still above the Kijun Sen but the Tenkan Sen has turned down, which is quite significant. And we saw that yesterday, and that means that the market now has downside momentum. And we noted yesterday that for all of this second time frame uptrend, never in this second time frame uptrend did the market have any downside momentum. So that's quite significant for this market. If the market does continue down, it should only be a matter of days before the Kijun Sen is taken out by the tank and scene and that would add to the bearishness so we'll, we'll see how the market develops over the next few days it'll probably take about uh, three or four days before we approach the uh, top of the cloud or this support area that's if the market does continue on its uh, downward trend now um, looking at the um, tank and scene here as I said it's pointing down the market is trading down below the Tenkan Sen, which means short-term bearishness. As we noted earlier, the market is trading down below the Kijun Sen, which also is uh, a longer time frame bearishness. But we're trading up above the cloud, which is uh, uh, longer term bullishness. So just recapping, the market has turned quite uh, bearish in the shorter time frame and in a uh, approaching the medium term time frame but we'll be looking to support at the swing lows of the congestion area or at the top of the Kumo.